Hi, I'm Tim Rail. Let's talk about seven spheres of support every leader needs. Leadership is, you fill in the blank. Some immediately think of a definition as in leadership is influence. Others think of a description like leadership is tough, leadership can be lonely, leadership is gratifying. One thing I don't hear enough about in leadership thinking is the dimensions of support leaders need. Now, on my own leadership journey, I've discovered many spheres of support leaders need. Many times I've discovered them the hard way myself. So as I coach and encourage leaders, I often find these spheres of support needs are not addressed intentionally in the lives of leaders and their families as well as they could be. So let's look at seven spheres of leadership support. And as we do, put names of people in each sphere of support as in who coaches me, who cares for me, who can I go to in times of crisis. Do this for yourself and for the lives of the leaders you are investing in. So let's walk through the seven. Sphere of support number one, covering spiritually. The intercessors and prayer partners we need to guard and bless us invisibly. Every leader needs a team of intercessors. Jesus had an inner circle of three, a core of 12, and a community of 70 to 120. Now that's a good ratio to consider as you recruit and build your intercessory team. Many times as a coach I've asked, how do you have your intercessors informed and active about this? Too often the response has been, oh, I forgot about that. So who's on your prayer team? Spirit support number two, cherishing your family. Your spouse and children are the heart and anchor for you as a leader. If this sphere of support is not nourished and protected, every other sphere of life is impacted. Make sure to make your family a priority. How are you cherishing your family? Sphere of support three, caring for the heart with your mentors and friends that strengthen the inner life. Now mentors pour in, they invest in us through their wisdom, experience, and advice. Friends walk with, sharing life and sharpening us as iron sharpens irons. Great friends and mentors on the journey make us better leaders. Who are your mentors and friends? Spear support four, coaching for skills. That's the continuing ongoing coaching and training that we need to increase our effectiveness. Great coaches come alongside leaders to help them be transformed into the image of Jesus, the great commandment, and join Jesus on his redemptive mission in our world, the Great Commission. Coaching increases the effectiveness of tra any training that we receive by over 400%. Every leader needs a coach, and every leader needs know to know how to coach others. Who are your, who's your coach? Spirit of Support 5, Collegial Support, Peers and Area Pastors, your Kingdom Teammates. Always remember that we are part of a team that the Lord of the Harvest assembled to reach an area. One of the best things we can do is to find our kingdom teammates and pray together, dream together, work together, and harvest together. Spirit support six, commitment to and from the system. That's the supervisors and systems for accountability and resources. We're all part of a bigger team. Our local leadership team, our district team, and our denominational team are all part of God's support systems. And our commitment to those teams and their commitment to us are essential. What's the commitment to and from the system look like for you? Spirit support seven, crisis assistance. The counselors and specialists that we need for times of special needs. Crisis times do come. And like the Chinese symbol for crisis, they are a mixture of danger and opportunity. We need to know the names of those who can support us in times of crisis, physical, emotional, relational, financial, and spiritual. Who are the crisis specialists in your area? Who's on the list of people you could call for these kind of needs? So as we look at these seven spheres of support every leader needs, how well are you supported in these seven spheres? How intentional are you in making sure the leaders you are investing in have support in these spheres? Leaders who are supported in these seven spheres of support are leaders who can better lead healthy, productive lives and ministries.